Well, so I got lucky when I won this. We'll see how lucky I am playing up this. checking out my comics closet um, we got the Great Lakes Comic Convention coming up here on February 24th and 25th which 24th is my birthday so I'm planning on going well it's at the Macomb Expo Center in Warren Michigan so I've got about three weeks they got a bunch of guys there you know, artists and writers they're gonna have uh, Mike Royer who they shows here that he's an artist on the demon from DC and Tom again shows he's got Batman Dan Didio which is like an ancient mysteries book Angel Medina I know he did a lot of Venom he signed a bunch of Venom books when I was there last year and I was hoping they'd be back so I could open them up before I go to this show maybe they'll be back in the next couple weeks and also um, John Jackson Miller who was in Star Wars Kenobi Dorian King who is Cad Bane. I'm not really sure what that's from. If anybody wants to in the comments down below, let me know who he is. Barry Lowen, who looks like he must have been an actor in The Mandalorian. And then there's a couple of wrestlers here. Arn, Arn and Brock Anderson. So I used to be into wrestling when I was younger. I don't watch a lot of wrestling now. Other guests include William Mesner Lobes, who does Wonder Woman. Arvel Jones, who is credited with Iron Fist and Misty Knight. Bill Morrison, who does The Simpsons and Mad Magazine. Paul Story, who says he does the Gotham Girls. Tom Orzachowski, who does Uncanny X-Men and Spawn. I have a lot of that. Daryl Banks, who does Green Lantern. And Jason Moore, who does Elvira and Dead World. And I have some books from both of those series. Randy Zimmerman of Arrow Comics and Seth DeMoose from Xenoholics and more. It also says there's going to be a magic tournament hosted by the game players, game players, and the 501st Great Lakes Garrison, the Star Wars Stormtroopers, they're at all the local shows. The Jedi Council will be there. The R2-D2 Droid Builders, Ghostbuster Detroit, they're usually there with their, these replica cars from Ghostbusters, and they're, you know, around where you can take pictures of them in uniform or in their Ghostbuster gear. The League of Enchantment, which I'm not sure what that is, and the finest G.I. Joe group, also Dungeon and Dragons campaign, and much more. So it's got a QR code. Let's see if I can get a close up of that where you can scan it, maybe see what's going on. Well, I was hoping I had some book coming in to open up that I had signed at the, the Great Lake Comic Convention last year, but I'm still waiting for them to come in. But luckily, I still have some whatnot auction items that I wanted to open up, actually from several different um, sellers here. The first, I was gonna show a couple things that I got, well, at Comics Corner, which is my LCS. I, go, I got a box there, I've had a box there since about 1990. And um, I'm not gonna show all the books I have pulled, they're mostly the main Marvel titles, but I did pick up this um, Invincible, number one, which is uh, the gold, I guess, uh, reprint you know i guess it's really popular now i haven't watched the animated series but it looks like it's pretty good and i also picked up this last ronin the lost years which um i don't really collect a lot of teenage mutant ninja turtle stuff either but it will tie into something coming up here i think in a few that i'm going to open up but i also went to a show last saturday called the dawn of the collector show it's in st Clair shores michigan it's at, the, I think, the VFW Bruce Post. They have it once a month, usually like the last weekend of the month. So, what I did get there, though, through one, one, I only went to one, well, I only bought stuff from one dealer, but I bought this Spider-Man 2099. He had a, a bunch of them. I mean, I, I know I, there were 15 in the box when I picked, I tried to get the best one here, but he had, he, I saw a couple guys already bought them. So I got this one, which is, it was 20 bucks. And it's a really nice copy. But I bought this one just to have another one. I want to send one in and have it um, graded. 
But also at that show, I also I, I try to buy you know the older Spider-Man. Sometimes I look to see who's got like the oldest Spider-Man book that's you know at a reasonable price, even if it's really low grade. Just you know something to fill in my collection. I bought this Spider-Man 89, 15 cent book with Doc Ock on the cover. It's kind of a classic Doc Ock battle cover. And um, I think I did, yeah, it says, well, he's got $75 marked on it. But I say this dealer always gives me great deals. I, I, bought, I bought from him several times. And also I have this thing number one, the thing number one. And I think, I'm not sure if this is his first issue or he's, you know, his first solo issue title. But anyway, I, I, I like the thing. I've always liked the thing. I thought he was, I think he's one of the best characters, especially in, in, the, in the Fantastic Four. I always like the Fantastic Four also. I've got some more stuff. But anyway, this was marked at 25, which puts me at what, like 120 there. And then I also bought this Fantastic Four, number 61, which is a 12 cent book. And it's got a Silver Surfer cameo in it, which I'm collecting Silver Surfer. Got that one, number three there. And here's number 18, which I bought this one a while back at 30 bucks. Just another copy of it. I have that one marked in a uh, graded at a 5.5. Five. I have another one there. I'm trying to get, you know, I've been buying up all the Silver Surfer stuff I can find at reasonable prices. Anyway, this has a Silver Surfer cameo and this awesome Sandman cover. And that was 65. And then I got this one here, which is, it's another Silver Surfer appearance. Number 76, 12 cent Fantastic Four book where they're stranded in subatomic. And I used to always love it when they were in subatomic and they could do whatever they want when they're there. It's a whole new universe. But I got this one for 65, well, it says 65, which was 65, 65, 130, 25, makes it 155, and then 75 and 20. So I uh, figured I was at $250. I believe he gave them to me for 130. I thought was a really great deal. And I also have this one, which is I, I bought, I don't know, a few months ago. Same book. And it's also marked 65. I believe it was from the same dealer. He usually gives me at least like 20% off. But I mean, he gave me, all, I think, like 40% off of these. But anyway, so I have those books. And actually, when I first walked in, they do a, a giveaway every hour, really. They do an early bird giveaway. If you get there, well, it starts at 10. If you get there between 9 and 10, Ten dollars get you in, and you get a raffle ticket. And I think they do their biggest, the biggest prizes are for the first drawing. But I didn't get there till I was like almost eleven thirty. But they do the drawing at noon, and they drew the second ticket. They drew was my number. I don't think anybody claimed the first ticket. And they've probably already gone. But um, it was this Funko Pop of Spider Man, uh, the art art series. I really don't know much about Funkos, but. Kind of a cool looking Spider-Man. He's got like a silver costume with like the Spider-Man circle like with his spotlight all over it. So I don't know if anybody knows much about that. I looked them up. It looks like some of them are selling for, you know, up to 25, close to $30. But then there were a lot of them that were way less, five, you know, eight, 10. But I think they said they were somewhat, maybe have a damaged case or not wrapped up. This has still got the cellophane on it. So, I thought it was kind of cool getting that. I um, like it when I win stuff. It always makes it easier to buy a few things if you win something right when you walk in. But, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up these whatnot boxes here. Which, I think what I'll go with first is these things here are from Erod212. So, I think I've got Looks like I got four packages. No, I think I got a couple from him. There's a couple blows there. But let's see if we can pop this open. I've got it written down what I have, but oh, I'll have to see which is, what's in what box. And I have some information for him here. But Erod does some great shows. He um, He's a great presser and cleaner. If you uh, need books pressed and clean, you go to his site on um, Instagram, but his page on Instagram, which is Express CBP, and you know, get your books pressed. He did some books I had. I have none of these. These are all mostly books I got on whatnot. This is not, and these are not. 
but all these other books are books I did buy and whatnot. And I think I got pretty good deals on most of them. So, well, here's my pack and slip, which is stuck on the tape. Get this out of here and pull this over out of the way so I got the camera over. So I can pop this open really quickly here. Most of these are raw books that I got, but I do have a box of slabs here. You know, open last. I think I like to see the slabs. I don't know, it seems like open them last is more dramatic. You know, the, big, the big ending going for. So, it's stuck in this package here. There we go. So, what I have up here first, this says number one, so. I must have gotten it. Oh, okay. That might have been the first auction. But it's the Tales of Suspense, number 98, Captain America and Iron Man, with Cap versus the Black Panther. Now he has, he has $50 on the back of it. All right, so that's Tales of Suspense, Captain America and Iron Man, versus Cap versus the Black Panther. Like I say, it has a $50 tag on the back. This says I paid $30 for it. So, I got a pretty good deal, I guess. It's really a pretty good book. Pretty nice looking book. Nice yellow cover, Neil. And, um, can't beat a yellow cover, he always says. Now, I'm not sure who the artist is. MCG, it says. Let's look that up. But, so that was the first book I got from Erod. And then these are actually the, um, Exclusives through Erod and um, I believe Very Gary Comics and Erod are together on this Darkwing Duck with um, the cover anyway. Art is done by Ryan Gary Brown, who does some great work. And there's a classic um, Batman pose. You know, it's kind of an homage to a Batman book. I have the um, trade dress. And then the Virgin Sketch Edition. And the Color Edition. And every one of them, well, they're numbered. This is 129 out of 30. The Virgin variant. Let's see what the numbers are on these. This is 226 out of 600. So these are all somewhat limited editions. And this one is 230 out of 600. So... I grabbed those up, and then there was this one. Now, see, this says it's from Express the CBP. So, it popped open here. So, anyway, yeah. He, he he usually does some great shows. He has a lot of great books. I mean, he's always out. If you watch his videos, he's going to a lot of shows, <clears throat> picking stuff up. He knows everybody at all the con at all the conventions in his area. I, mean, I know he's in New Jersey, and um, so he's always got some great stuff. And, you know, you just gotta take it easy on your bidding. Let's see if I can check this. I love it. Boom. And all right, I'm gonna rip here. Okay, it's a uh, tail of the spent number ninety four. If this be Modoc, first Modoc, and it's a you know mid grade book, mid to low grade. But now it says I paid eighty dollars for that first Modoc, and then there was Invincible Iron Man sixty six, Avenger versus Avenger, Iron Man fighting Thor. Really nice cover, and that says I paid. $3 for that. And that's 
a nice book, really great shape. And then there's also Invincible Iron Man number 125, which is Ant-Man, Michigan and Monaco, Tony Stark without his armor, says. Looks like he's in a James Bond mode there. That's a 40 cent book. And that says I paid $8 for that. I thought I got some great deals on those. This is a, some books I got from Davis Ryder. So, and he's an artist, comic artist. Does He does some variant covers such things like that it looks like I don't know what no, I think I got dropped into his show I think he comes on after Barry Gary on Tech Tech on Tuesdays because Erod's on first and Barry Gary comes on after Erod to like 10 and then Davis Ryder's on and I think he just goes until they go to sleep so yeah this is just the one book but this is an exclusive that he had. Actually, I think I might have, might have been to buy it now. But this is Thanos Death Notes. Really cool Thanos cover with the Infinity Stones on it. And um, I paid $15 for that. But it says it's the first mention of the new black Infinity Stone and also the first appearance of Corella, who was the first love of Thanos. Because I know he was in love with Lady Death, right? That's why he was in the comics, is why he wanted to kill half the people in the universe. Okay, so I also have a package here from Dan Jung. I have several books in here. I think this was the one somebody's auction I think they dropped us into this auction usually especially if they drop you into somebody like they call it a raid now they'll drop you into another auction and usually when people start off their auctions they'll be having a, a giveaway so usually if you get dropped into another auction you can right quick enter a giveaway and I got yeah, several books here so let me see what I have Marvel Black Panther, but it's a Marvel Masterpieces edition um, by Joe Jusco. And let me see if I can find my information here. In fact, this is Black Panther 3. Black Panther 3, Marvel Masterpieces cover by Joe Jusco. Not sure if that's a variant cover, but it's the. Um, First appearance of Toss and Key. I paid $22 for that. And then we have yes. the Defenders, number 70, with a nice Hulk cover, newsstand edition. Fighting against uh, Lunatic. And that I actually got for $4. And here we have a couple books I really don't usually buy, but they must have come in, got a good deal on them. Batman, Fortnite, number three, zero point, which has a nice cover on it. Actually, this says two on it. Come here. So, got Harley Quinn, Catwoman, Batman. Oh, you know what? This must be the number three. This is Batman Zero Point Fortnite number three to go with that for a dollar. But then, after that, I got this Spawn set which is King Spawn number one and then Gunslinger Spawn number one 
and scorched number one for the spawn set paid eight dollars and then after that i got this spider-man 21 which is spider-man and deathlock and pretty cool cover Eric Larson cover and on that I paid I paid seven dollars for that I think this is actually the first book I bought on that when I first popped in this is Punisher 75 which is a foil cover I always thought it was a cool cover of Geiger Geiger art on the cover and for that I paid one dollar so I think those are some pretty good deals from Dan Jung. I appreciate that. He had a nice show going. I've got these books here from Barry Gary Comics, which like I say, I have this one. It got crunched on the way in. I know what that is. And this one, I, don't know, I have them. I have my information down here. I also have this, which is the bigger box. I'm gonna open this first. Let's see what I got here. Yeah, I got that in a couple days ago, that crunched up Gemini mailer. And I posted on my Instagram page, you know, uh-oh, look what the post office did to my comic, which I posted, I got it from Barry Gary Comics and you know, whatnot. And actually Gary responded on my on my Instagram page apologizing for that. But and I told him it's you know not his fault, it's in a Gemini mailer. He packed it. But they know what's in them. Somehow it got crunched. I mean, it almost looks like it got pushed up against something. It's dirty. It looks like it got run over or shoved up underneath something and pushed and made an accordion out of it. We'll see what the book looks like in there. It wasn't a super expensive book or anything. But it's a cool book. So kind of a bummer if it's wrecked. But as I told him, too, on my Instagram page, Give me a chance to try my pressing skills if it's not too badly damaged and if it is damaged more than i want to mess with then i got a, I got a presser it works out of the back room of my comic store comics corner amped comics cleaner on instagram and if it you know if it looks like it can be saved or i don't think it's gonna be that bad i'll have him clean it up well okay so the first one i got here from very gary so oh, this is a cool book wolverine number 10 which is something I paid twenty-three dollars for, but this is the first fight between Wolverine and Sabretooth. And actually, I bought this book on my honeymoon. My wife and I went. Well, we went to Niagara Falls right after our wedding, which was August twenty-eighth, nineteen ninety-three. But when we were in, then we went to Toronto. We had a condo. We stayed in Toronto for the rest of the week, and we went to a comic store in Toronto, and I bought this book. I believe I paid like $25 Canadian for it in 1993. And now I bought it in 2023 for $23. And then I have here, there's this virgin cover by Ryan Gary Brown of the Lost Ronin Years, Lost Years number one, very Gary Comics exclusive which is the number 46 of 800. Actually, I think I bought this as a, um, as a buy it now. I believe I bought, I, it was a buy it now for $30. So, yes, no, this will be the X-Men set, like a lot. It was what, 143 through 150. It said multiple keys in these issues. So I have, so yes, this is, um, these books here I got from Barry Gary Comics and Whatnot Auction. It's Attack on Tuesday. This is um, X-Men 143, it's Christmas edition. With the Brood. Then X-Men 144, which is with Despair. And it says guest staring the macabre man thing. X Men 145, which is an awesome Doom cover. Oh, it's got 
It says multiple keys. I guess I should have looked them up. Anybody knows, comment down below and let me know which, which ones are the keys. This is Uncanny X-Men 146 versus Arcade in Murder World. And then Uncanny X-Men 147. There's a really cool Rogue cover. And then X-Men 148 with Dazzler, Spider-Woman to the rescue when Kitty falls to the shadow of death. X-Men 149 and the dead shall bury the living. See this is um, a Dave Cockrum cover. He must be doing the covers then. And then X Men 150, X Men versus Magneto. So, enough said. Enough said. So, yeah, I got that whole lot for $66. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. So let me get this other one open here. There's a couple of books in here, it looks like. Oops, I just do my paperwork down. So I'll have to see if it's on the packing list here. I have to cut this. Free Gemini mailers. I do have stuff I'm going to be sending out soon. I'm going to try to get some stuff ready for CGC, which actually I have it right here. Ten Silver Surfers for CGC. I'm going to get those set up to send in to get graded, and I'll be showing those on a on an upcoming video, which ten I have in there. Um, I'm trying to get them all in the same grade as these, five five or higher, but. I mean, I want to try to get a whole set greater than five fives because it looks like an SS, right? Silver Surfer. But I've got all the big, the big issues. I'm missing number 15. Plus, I have the fantasy masterpieces that I've got several of those. I think I am missing 15 on that also. And maybe I think I have everything else except 15 in both sets, both series. So these are. web of spider-man number one that paid 25 dollars for which is an awesome looking cover we drew this see that's first level spider-man so and then i also got venom carnage number one which says i paid five dollars for that Pretty sure I have that. This book, this cover. This is a Clayton Crane cover. I know I have this Venom Carnage number one. It may be a different cover. Is this a variant? I'm not sure if that's a variant cover. The comments below, let me know if that's a variant or if that's number one cover. And then I, I remember having this kid, this book when I was a kid, which is Amazing Spider Man 151. Or can you guess the shocking secret identity of spiders? Spidey's super foe. But it's just that cool, awesome cover where he's in, in the sewers, I guess. Water pouring over him. So, yeah, one, 151. I know I have a 150 yet. I'm starting to build up a lot of those, you know, around under 200. You know, number down below 200. I, my, first, I, my earliest Spider-Man, Baden Spider-Man, is 11. But I, on that, it says I paid $33. So, nice books there. So, let's see what this thing looks like. Big old post office. And I know what this is. It's the only book I bought that night, and it's a little bent. So, like I say, it's not a very. I didn't pay a lot for it. It's a nice book, but got a. 
advertising for King mm. Kong, King Kong number four, which is at the APA Hotel on Wood Avenue in Island, New Jersey, which is March 25th and 26th. And I won't be going to New Jersey, but there is a QR code on there. I'll see if I can put that up. You can check it out. And what I do have here is uh, Fantasy Masterpieces number three. And it's, yeah, it's got a good crunch right there. But I paid $11 for it, which I have, I think, two other issues of this. I think I have two or three other issues of this. I know I have at least two number ones in the Fantasy Masterpieces and two number fours. And this is I don't know, a third or fourth number three, which is the first appearance of Mephisto. I mean, and it's a, you know, mid-grade, low-grade copy to begin with. But yeah, it got a pretty good crunch there. But we can fix it. We have the technology. Let me slide that right in here. It's going to stay. It's not going to stay. I don't want to bend it up more. So, and that wasn't that bad. I hope, you know, Gary might check out my video to see what happened with it. As I, I've said before, Gary was one of the first YouTube comic people I watched and pretty much was my inspiration to start doing this. I showed my wife, he was showing the books and the prices and that's when I showed my wife, you know, a bunch of books that he was showing, a bunch of modern books I think he got in that he was showing and then he, at the end showed all the fair market value prices and I showed my wife, see, look at these books are starting to get worth a lot. And my wife asked if I had any of those books and I said, yeah, I think I have all of them. Or at least most of them, if they're Marvel books, you know, modern Marvel books, I have most of them. So, okay, now this last one is some Slabbies from Bry's Comics. I mean, Bry's also a big, big YouTuber. He's got a big, um, the big dealer. He's got a big following. And this is the first time I think I've been on his whatnot auction. Here. But I went on the other day, and actually the way he does it, he's got a wheel that they spin. If you buy a book, I think your name goes on a wheel for every book you buy. And if you win two, two giveaways, I think you go on to the final wheel. And the final wheel has like some big books, some nice slabs for $500 cash. So I wanted to at least get one book so I could got my knife. I wanted to get at least one book so I could at least get onto the first wheel and you know, I entered all the giveaways. I stayed there all night and watched his show. And um, I never won any of the giveaways. Oh he has it well wrapped up here. I may have to fast forward this. All right. Packing paper. Yeah, Bryce Comics, and this these are these in California. And another box. Nothing wrong with that. Love it when they're well packaged. And, then, and all these all these books are well packaged. They always come well packaged. I have some other books from another dealer. I think I've shown a book that I opened before. But I've got some other ones coming. I'm waiting on, so I was going to wait to open those. I've got, you know, one over here, I think, one or two books. But I'm going to wait to open that up when I get those books back. You know who you are, girl with purple hair. So, I was trying to look these up. But he just has... Slabby has a description on them. So I'll just pop them here and see what we got. Okay, there's that one, which is a cool book. This, which is a cool book. And this, which is a cool book. Well, 
this out of here. Show this one first. Which is X-Men number 25, Fatal Attractions. Which is, uh, this I believe is the issue where Magneto pulls the Admanium out of Wolverine's skeleton. Show this. Let's set these over here. We'll talk about that in a few. But yeah, X Men 25. Which tools this? This must be Slabby 58, which I paid $38 for that, which is a 90 CGC Universal. And then this I have is X-Men, 12 cent X-Men, number 55, in a 5-0. I hope you can see it. Which was on Slabby 104, I think it said. I paid $89 for that. And then... This was the, the first one I bought, which was actually his first auction of the night. Auction number one. And it is Silver Surfer, or not Silver Surfer, but Fantastic Four, number 72. And a 5 0, which is an awesome Jack Kirby Silver Surfer cover. I believe I have two raw copies of this book that I bought. Yeah, Stanley Story, Jack Kirby cover, and in a 5.0 CGC Universal. So, I'm looking to get to 100 subscribers here pretty soon. And when I do, I'm going to give away one of these two books. First up, I have this Legends of the Dark Knight, number 63. It's part 10 of the Knight's End storyline. And it's triple signed by Barry Kitson, Denny O'Neill, Scott Hanna. And if you're not into DC or CBCS or Batman, I have this book here, which is Venom number 26 and a 9-8 from CGC. And it's triple signed by the cover artist Shannon Mayer and also um, Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman. So I would appreciate it if you'd check me out like and subscribe when i hit 100 subscribers i'll do a randomizer and give away one of these books i appreciate everybody watching this you know, like i said if you like these things give me a thumbs up give me a subscribe you know comment let me know what you think about this stuff it's kind of a shame and i mean it's gonna press out and it'll be just fine it, it is a good book first appearance of mephisto Appreciate everybody checking out my, my comics closet. You know, I'm looking for subscribers. I'm going to do this giveaway here when I hit 100. So keep coming back to my comics closet where we take comics, comic collecting right out of the closet. Thank you.